and welcome to the Canadian Culture Corner. Uh, I'm your host, Joe. Uh, today we've got some champions to do. And we're going to see about... We are going to see about uh, dealing with, well, the best of, oh, the prison break-in. All right. So let me just make sure I'm still recording. Open recorder. And, yep, yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Have to check. I've had serious problems. I imagine the guy who's working, who has to watch these videos, is just like, man, these guys' videos suck. You know, you can't get their recording right for champions. And to which I say, eh, sorry about that. Hey, not the, I was raised in the countryside without too much tech, so that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. I'm quite proud of it, <laughs> if stupidly so. All right, so I gotta speak with Chief Suroff at the prison. Ah, here he is. As you can see, I still have some lag problems. So we're only gonna tackle maybe a mission or two today. Now, due to timing right now, um, this video will not involve Tommy, which is a shame. And I do apologize for my last video's serious problems. Um, Tommy will be teaming up with Dan. And... Oh, um, we're going to go defeat the law. Uh, yep. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty tired right now, so let's see about how well I can do without a night's sleep. Um, huh. Now, that said, I wonder if anyone's ever going to watch these videos. <laughs> Yeah, we're still a small channel, so I can I'm allowed to get off with a comment like that. And with the comment that um Champions Rocks, uh no other MMO can compare with it. And suck it. Yeah. I know. How very unCanadian of me to be this rude. But why not? Who's gonna care? Now, let's see. There. Bah humbug. Nope. Uh, yeah, I know. I said bah humbug without there being any Christmas involved. Let's see. Seven fifteen. Probably just run speed power. Now, when you go to play this, uh, you might want to make sure you have a better internet connection than I do, and friends on board. And let me see. Now. Dan and Tommy will probably end up doing a lot more on their own um, than what I'm going to do in this one recording. Um, but so next week's going to be those two popping up, and today it's just me. And then next time it'll be Dan on his own, and I'll be teaming up with Tommy. We're going to do it this way as we've had serious uh, internet problems as of late. And, yeah, as you can see, it takes a full minute to register. Now, this is simply a, 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 a fact of life 
for those of us living in the countryside up here in Canada, uh, in the Great White North. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Shanker. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Yeah, this is about as far as you can get on your own almost in terms of like surviving alone when you're a DPS early on. Uh, tanks have a much better time early on in the game as do uh, the light based characters because the celestial ones because, well, to put it bluntly, uh, I have no defense. They can heal. I can't. Well, I can, I just choose not to. Let's see, one more. Eh, I'm probably gonna go down. Muggum! Now, this isn't just simply a playthrough video, as we're going to be trying a few new things with the channel soon, in a week or so. Namely, we're going to see about doing fantasy talks, wherein we'll discuss lore, details, races, and ideas, as well as the business side of fantasy in a series of videos called Fantasy Talks. We're going to be doing uh, rant videos at some point because the genre is basically falling apart. Uh, yeah. And we'll probably end up doing at some point the same for superhero fiction maybe. And we're going to be doing a series of videos called Writing Blocks, wherein we discuss what we would do with a certain race or character in superhero or fantasy fiction. And hopefully this will be a little educational and fun. And any viewers we get will get something out of it, just as we do. And there's also one other thing to note about our fantasy videos. We'll be doing uh, Balin's Rep, as I simply wanted to introduce Dan to NPC Man by watching the videos and gave us a bit of content while we were at it. But the main goal was to get to Balin's Rep, which I really love that movie. Everyone, I think, who ever saw the movie loved it. It's the top movie of 2021, and looking at the listings of movies to come out for the next few years, I would argue there's there's nothing on a par with it. There will be no movies that good for the next decade or so, unless it's coming out of Japan or Korea, which is a shame because you know there's plenty to be offered by the Brits and the Français and whatnot. There's plenty they could do with various genres. Um, but there, it's not going to be done. Right, retrieve blueprints. Oop. Best do this. As I said, I'm kind of blind today because of exhaustion and fatigue. So... And with Fantasy Talks, we'll be having guest speakers. 
on on occasion. Mostly friends of ours from way back. And they will... Well... Uh, offered their own insight into this piece of lore or this part of the genre and whatnot. Now, let's grab this. <laughs> Warped back. Uh, I hate these legs. I honestly wish this game had gotten the same amount of investment or something that by investors that WoW got. Can you imagine what we could have done in this game, like with the superhero genre in this game, uh, had it gotten the investment it deserved? Yeah, I know someone like Asmongold is going to go, oh well, you know, your game's shit. Uh, or something. That's why I didn't get the investment. And I'd argue, no, it's not that this game's shit. It was actually really good, and I actually think in a lot of ways it's better than WoW. It offers more personal journey for your character that you create. Allowing you to customize a villain, rogues gallery, give you, you know, like, your travel power, which allows you to specialize your hero in a certain direction, uh... Such as, let's say, I'm fire-based, and I'm a speedster. I'm like a fire version of the Flash. The Flash uses electricity in combination with speed-based powers. And this kind of detail is the sort of thing I wish that had been more integrated into the game. Like, you know, where, like Tor, you might get somewhat personalized direction for some quests based around the archetype you chose. Because that's something, while I didn't care for a lot of Tor, um, especially since it shot all over a lot of the lore, I must confess to actually really respecting and loving the personalized s class stories. Now, WoW has its good points. I mean, You've got the different classes, that's a plus. It was really fun in vanilla. And even some aspects of Wrath of the Lich King, such as Arthas, were good up until it wasn't. Because Arthas, well, uh, was mishandled with Wrath of the Lich King. He could have been way bigger, and he should have been a major villain. And I don't mind him getting a semi redemption right before he dies. I'm actually in favor of that. My argument is just that. The he didn't feel big enough, and he should have almost been the final boss. Instead, we ha got one god or void lord or whatever after another, till it's just every initial threat is just completely delegitimized as a worthy threat because you're now you are the god. Your average grunt in Warcraft is now more powerful than the gods. And at what point is it? Stop being interesting, storyline-wise and lore-wise. Now, yeah, I'm looking at it from a writer's point of view there. But I'm also looking at it from the point of view of a Warcraft 3 fanboy's uh, perspective. All right. Uh, let's try this. Now, oh, shoot. Neverwinter never really um, explored the lore as much as it could have, and while it's a fun kind of beat 'em up, bash 'em thing, it's got some similarities to WoW, but it's almost a poor man's version. Although I prefer it to WoW to an extent, but that's just because it's free and I'm cheap. Hold on, where did I port? I just know I probably have to go into the bar. Uh, too many memories of going in here. No, I'm going off memories from almost a decade ago. Seven years. 
in sheer freaking exhaustion. I could be wrong. Now, the Nemesis system is really where this game excelled and outclassed the other MMO games. Because, you know, you can customize your own arch enemy, your own rival. And this allows, they give you a lot of customization options in this game. And for those of us who do the RPing side of things, you know, it allows us a lot of flexibility there. Ah, I see. You have to get on the roof. What the? Come on, champions. There's no need to give me that much of a lag. All right. Uh, at least it seems to me, yeah. All right, so I can't get up there. At least I don't think I can. Let me see. Hold on. <laughs> Classic. Of course. Of course you have to do it this way. And I'm probably going to get slingshotted across the city. Because of the glitches I'm up against. That figures. And I'm trying to be patient with this. And I don't think it's very... Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, sorry for the F-bomb, but... I really don't like this. Side of Champions. I will admit, it's a weak point. And WoW, I don't think, has glitches quite this bad. So I will give it that much. But... My problem is the story never seems to have gone anywhere intelligent. Champions doesn't have too much of a story. But you basically can add it yourself almost. Yeah, okay, that was all futile. Alright, six. Set primary. Ah, thunderstorm starting to kick in. Nope. It would be my computer, I think, crashing. So I guess that's a hint that it should end there. So yeah, I know this wasn't the most exciting video. Uh, so if you liked it, like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, and hopefully we'll have uh, new content for you soon. Uh, and heck, you know what? Tell me what's your favorite MMO and uh, whether or not you think the Nemesis system was as good as, well, I describe it and I boast about it. And, and what it could have used to be improved. Uh, I think there could have been more missions and whatnot. And I also think a damsel system or dude in distress system could have been really useful and could have really elevated this game. And it was the nat next natural step for the game. So, if you agree, leave a comment and tell me why you agree or disagree. And what you think champions could have used to, to elevate it as a game and MMO and within the superhero genre. So, until then, as I already stated, like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment and... Super punch that notification bell system. <laughs>